Hey guys, Max Browlier here, and I'm doing another video this week to talk about um, some stuff as we gear up for the release of The Last Kids on Earth and the Cosmic Beyond, coming out in just about three weeks, so we're getting close. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about one of my favorite characters, June Del Toro. So June is one of the buddies, one of the four human friends in The Last Kids on Earth series. One of my favorite characters to write. Sometimes when I'm writing, I'll like fall in love with a sentence or a line, and I have to sort of realize it doesn't work work for the character and I have to throw it away which is a bummer uh, because characters have like personalities and traits and things about them that, that don't change all the time and so they can't just say any line that I think sounds funny um, so June is uh, she's tough She's sarcastic, she's cool, she's athletic, she played field hockey at school, um, so that's really helpful when battling monsters and zombies. She was the editor of the school paper, and that causes her to sometimes be able to see things from a sort of high level, uh, more thought out perspective. She's good at spotting like weaknesses and vulnerable spots and villains and giant monsters. Uh, she's sarcastic, she's tough, she loves giving our main character, um, Jack, friendly, buddy, buddy grief. Um, but she's not like everything. She's not like a Poochie from The Simpsons. She doesn't skateboard or DJ parties at night and doesn't also like love to read comics and play video games. She's not just like one of the guys. She's not a geek like Jack and Quinn, um, though she does come to enjoy some of their more geeky hobbies. Um, June's like a, a, a kid who's stuck living in this treehouse with thirteen, uh, with three 13 year old boys and that can be exhausting and annoying. Um, but June is like very rarely a sort of snarky, annoyed sister sort of character, she's a buddy. And um, so one of the hardest parts of writing the first book in the series was that you only see June through Jack's eyes. The book is told from Jack's point of view. And Jack's whole thing in the first book is that he wants to be a hero. Um, he wants to rescue June because he thinks that she's this damsel in distress and he's convinced from uh, from watching old movies and reading old books that what heroes do is that they rescue damsels in distress. Um, and we don't see June uh, really until like two thirds of the way through the book. So it really requires the reader to have some faith that June will be more than, than what what um, what we've seen through Jack's point of view, more than what she's been described as by Jack. And so when they do finally um, meet June, they get that uh, one of my favorite moments in the series when Jack and his buddies escape the zombie ball with June's help, and then June sort of is waiting there um, with her spear, and she's like, what are you fools doing here? And Jack's like, wait, this is not the damsel in distress I expected, I expected to come rescue. Jack? The main character sort of looks at his world like it's a video game. And I kind of look at each book like that, um, each book in the series. So I think video game fans will understand when I say June levels up in Last Kids on Earth and the Cosmic Beyond. Um, she's got like a bunch of uh, like real life XP earned up from battling monsters and zombies. In this book, she gets a really fun, exciting new addition to her arsenal. I think uh, I won't say anything else, but it's very, very cool. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, new video next week. Hope you enjoyed listening to me talk a little bit about June Del Toro. Only three weeks until publication. And uh, don't forget to enter the pre-order campaign. I got a link below. And you can win a trip to New York Comic Con. We can talk about the Netflix series that comes out next year. Um, I'll probably spill some secrets. I'm terrible at keeping secrets. And uh, yeah, and everybody who enters the, the pre-order uh, campaign, orders a book ahead of time, will get a autographed book plate sticker from me to put inside your book and some other cool fun stuff. So that's it guys. Peace out until next week. I've got a new video. In that new video I plan to talk a little bit about the Netflix series and hopefully um, not get in too much trouble by saying things that I can't say. Alright, that's it. Bye guys.